thousand meters. One or two just a little bit restless. All clear given and they sprinting away. I can tell you respected Bay was slow. Mill race and also Dark Abbott not that well away. Seventh circle on the right hand side bounced out with speed. The Red Silks to the inside. Corusol races and Ekaway second. High maintenance. Respected Bay looking to make up some ground to the insides. Four lengths off them. Shoshone's on the outside. Burnt Orange further back in the running. They're racing about five or six lengths off them. And Dark Abbott, Misty Power. Homeward bound, seven circle has the call by a half a length. Corusol on the inside, high maintenance. Respected Bay is going to look for a way through between runners. Shoshone tries to come forward. A line of five coming to the 300. Respected Bay, Shoshone, seven circle, high maintenance, and Corusol goes with them on the inside. Shoshone, Respected Bay over the last hundred. Misty Power, Dark Abbott, high maintenance. Anybody can win it. Misty Power is running on strongly. Corusol, Respected Bay lunges through. Respected Bay, Corusol, Re Respected Bay one head. Corusol sick, and then you take your pick. Misty Power on the outside. There's two or three of them also involved in the possessions, but Respected Bay once again. The claims will come through. What an exciting finish. Number 11, Respected Bay. Three claims on this daughter of Mullins Bay. She was slow off the mark, but she fends them off the last 50 and wins it by about a half a length. Corusol possibly just second. Shoshone, high maintenance. Misty Powers on the inside and Dark Abbott. They're all fighting out the minor positions. Mill Race only beaten two lengths. Burnt Orange behind these and seventh circle as they go down to the post. Got to say it's a big victory for the Mullins Bay. Respected Bay. Comes through between runners with 300 to go. There was a line of five of them coming to the 200. Corusol puts the head in front. Shoshone, high maintenance. Running on his misty power. 150 to go. Respected Bay. She digs down deep. On the inside, Corusol. Misty power. High maintenance to the line they go. But there's healthy respect for 11. Respected Bay. We heard the on-course confidence coming through. And 50 meters to go. She had her head in front, beating the boys. Anthony Del Pesh brings on this end individual for Mr. and Mrs. Robert Pickering, Middlefield Stud who bred her, for Mr. Fitzgerald and Miss Haynes, well done to all from the Goth Buller Stable, respected Bay, she fends them off the last 50 metres and justifies that strong betting support. Back to the studio. Well, there was solid betting support for the filly, the daughter of Mullins Bay and uh, she's come through to win a very good race. Well done to Richard Fitzgerald and Miss uh, uh, Haynes here, of course, uh, Guard Puller teaming up with Jockey Del Pesh. And as we mentioned, had a quick word with Richard. He was supremely confident. He liked this filly a lot. But uh, we'll have a chat to the uh, conditioner, Garth. Uh, you know, firstly, I want to touch on this ride because if you watch the starts, I mean, just experience toll in the saddle. I think you're talking from your pocket. Eh? <laughs> um, yeah, look, he, uh, you know what happens? I was going to run down the straight. Uh, young horse's first run. Down the straight, they've got to go straight for 200 meters. Now, on the turn... They crowded. If they don't jump smartly, they, they, they're taken out of the race normally. A very good ride from Anthony. I mean, he, he, he missed the break. They run over him quickly. He chased it into a position. He got a position. And then in the straight, he had to commit to her and take a small gap. Uh, and, and she went through nicely. It was a brave run from the filly. On the grass, I would have actually fancied her very strong. Yeah. Um, but the rain came, and I would have had to take Dark Abbott out because I've kept him for nine months. Good run from Dark Abbott. Uh, all three horses. Uh, Mill Race ran a length off them. So I was very happy with my three runners. They all had chances. They were all working well. And the nice thing about it is they all came through the race well. Just hope they all find tomorrow. Well done to Ms. Haynes. But uh, just touching on Richard, uh, he's been a big supporter of yours uh, for many a year. Yeah, I've got a lot of good uh, patrons, and he's one of them. And, uh, yeah, I must say to Wendy, who's my fiancé, good luck to her. And to Richard, good luck to him. And to Hollywood for the sponsorship. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Before you leave us, one more runner you got uh, coming up uh, later on and a uh, horse that improved uh, at his second start. Yeah, also belongs to very nice people. Um, they bred him. Uh, he improved tremendously, but he did have a virus afterwards. He, uh, he's one of those, unfortunately, they got a snotty nose and he got it twice. So he comes, comes out of treatment. I think he's going to be in need of the run, but he's a horse to watch later on. But I think he'll need it today. Before you leave us, we've got a bit of time. What you thought of Matt Degart? Fantastic day. It's always a fantastic day. Uh, uh, obviously, a very good horse won the race. Um, Look, the glamour was out the race a little bit with Legislate coming out because they're obviously two very good dynasties. But I must say, it was a fantastic day. Well done. Thank you very much. Lovely. Let's get Anthony Dalpesh in. Bonja, I'm just chatting to Garth about the ride, and that's where experience counts because 
when you get left and squeezed and things can go horribly long and that could be a race run, but you push this, uh, this filly to get into the race, you, you really persevered in the early part. Well, you know, that's, that's where you lose your races at the gates, and especially on the first time. And, uh, and a little bit kick back in her face, she would have sped the dummy out. And, and uh, as they jumped, the kid on my outside jumped right onto me and squeezed me out. And, but I got off to her and I chased her. Lucky she was a bit brave and, and uh, she, 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 she stayed there. And, but she travelled very well and then up the straight there was a tight gap to go between. And she went through and she was courageous to win. So, so well done to Garth and the owners. They were coming left and right, but she still kept keeping her head in front. Yeah, you know, I knew if anything come close to me, she would have fought them off. I was just worried about something comes a little bit away from me and she doesn't see her, they might get me because she, she got there and was looking around at everything. Uh, that was a good win and uh, she's going to definitely improve from this run. It's good to get a knockout punch in the first and come back in the second. Lovely. Now, before you leave us, this meeting has changed to a gravel and uh, many of your rides have been scratched, which is unfortunate. But uh, what about the balance uh, that's left? Well, uh, I thought Alarm is my next best ride, you know, and uh, apart from that, there's nothing much that stands out. You know, I had really good rides, but except <laughs> them getting scratched. But, you know, that's the way it goes. Uh, so I'm hoping Alarm it loves this track. It won very well on this track, so let's, uh, let's hope it goes well. What about a horse like Among Saints for Paul? Yeah, it's also first time on the, on the track, and it's got very good form. Actually, I forgot about this one, Dees. Sure, sure, um, sure. Uh, it's got very good form. It's, I've run it before. It ran second with me. I looked at the form, and, and she's got the best form in the race. I'm just hoping she's going to handle the track. Well, well done here. Nice ride. Well played. Thanks very much, and thank you to my sponsor, Evan, too. Well done, Jockey Anthony Delpet. Richard's been waiting patiently in the wings, and as I mentioned, I missed Gart in the parade ring, but Richard, he was confident. Richard, you told me this is a smart filly. No, quite honestly, Dees, I didn't really know much about her other than Gar <laughs> said it'll win. So, sure. Yeah, I, I was with him when he actually bought it uh, a year and a half ago. And I always knew that she was all right. But uh, two weeks ago, Garth phoned me and he said, you know, I've got this really nice filly. Mm. I want to give you half. I said, oh, Garth, is she any good? He says, well, wait and see. Yeah. And I'm, I'm over the moon. I cannot tell you how I really appreciate his generosity. And, and, and most of all, his friendship. You know, I've been in this game for 30, 40 years, mm. and nobody's ever given me a horse that's one first time out. So to One first time out and pay for the bill in two weeks' time? No, she's more than paid. You know, we had a strike on her. So to my trainer, thanks, buddy. And there's a small sea ride coming now. now. And to my partner, well done. To the people, Rob and Michelle, that bred her. Thank you very much, you bred an ass horse. Richard, you know, we talk about people in the game for many a year. You just mentioned 35 years. You must have the, the right recipe. I mean, talk to Mr. Cecil Bates the other day for him being in the game this long. You, you're obviously doing something right as well. I mix with the right people, I think, Dees. Well, go and collect the cash then. Thank you. Well done to Richard Fitzgerald with number 11, Respect Abay, who's come through to win and win a gutsy race. She could be one to pencil in. I think follow her next time out. She'll, she'll come on. She'll improve. 11, 1, 8, and 2. That's your provisional result. Race number two. Coming up next will be the start of the pick six. Race number three. The time to jot down there will be 1,400 hours, 2 o'clock. Up next, pick six time.